it's a very challenging time to be in local government, but also it's a kind of a crucial time when people are finally realizing what it is that we've taken for granted. Well, the issue is that we have to provide at the city level, at the local government level, uh, certain services for our citizens. We're mandated by the state and by the federal government to provide certain services. And then on top of that, there are certain services that the public demands and they expect. The burden has fallen more and more on property taxes. There's no question that no new taxes isn't no new taxes. By eliminating the homestead credit, everyone's taxes are going up. And what we're seeing instead of no new taxes is higher taxes, particularly for the average working person in Minnesota. As our funding from the state continues to decrease, we have to make that revenue up somewhere. The burden falls on the local government to make up that revenue in order to pay for basic things like uh, street repair, uh, sewer services, water services. So we've just had to take a greater and greater burden of those um, services for our local citizens as our help from the state decreases. The difficulty we have is that we have a revenue problem, not a spending problem. Our cities and local governments have been tightening their belts, they've been prudent, they're spending less than they were before, but if we want to make sure that all Minnesota opportunities and individuals can do well in the future, we need to raise revenue based on the ability to pay, and that means our higher income folks who've done well and pay less of a percentage of their income should pay their fair share rather than balancing the budget on the backs of our rural towns, our suburban communities and others that are in a very difficult place right now.